Good Monday morning to you folks. Happy Memorial Day. Um, I, I know it's going to look different than it has in the past with the ability to get out and do the things we used to do. Uh, it is at least for us anyhow, and I suppose that it probably is for a lot of the folks that would be watching this, but uh, we'll just make the best of what it is. We um, if you've been out to the cemeteries or you've seen pictures, you know that uh, this time of year and for this weekend, uh, what we uh, call um, a holiday or celebration uh, or a day of remembrance, a lot of folks will decorate uh, graves and, and just all graves. They just decorate graves. But um, the history of Memorial Day was that uh, it was to commemorate those that had fallen, those soldiers who had fallen in service to our country. And so and that's why they started a Memorial Day and why it was instituted. And um, I think, and every time I think about uh, military uh, men and women and what they, what they give up um, to do that, to go into the service. We can't leave out the fact that, uh, uh, that you know, they don't do it for free, that there is a, a pay for it, uh, much like uh, other jobs that you would do here. But we also understand that there is more hazard uh, there, and especially in the day and time we're living now, you never know when there's going to be a squirmish or a battle or they're going to send you somewhere. So um, my thought is, and this is just a personal thought of mine, you can think however you wish to, I'm sure, but my thought is, is that uh, any man or woman that signs up and lists to go into uh, the service um, probably already understands uh, the gravity of uh, if we are called to war, they will go. So uh, they are willfully uh, going to serve their country. Uh, in a time of peace, which could turn into a time of war, but they're doing that not only for themselves, but for their families and for their friends and for those who live in this country who uh, have the freedoms to express ourselves through religion or through word, through song, through the written word. We have uh, many freedoms that are not available in other countries. And we have those freedoms because um, there are folks who will continue to stand up for them and to fight for them. And for, um, for everyone that has fallen uh, in service to this country, we uh, would thank you today um, for the families who have lost loved ones um, due to uh, uh, being in battle or or uh, just uh, past uh, there in the military, we are appreciative when we do honor them today. When I think of this day especially, I know yesterday at church the same way, it just, it just stirs certain memories in me, but I think of, of Jesus. And I'm going to read to you a piece of scripture here in the 15th chapter of the book of John. And now in chapter 14, we hear him say, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me and my father's house are many mansions. And that's pretty, I mean, we know that one pretty well. Well, we jump to chapter 15. It's still all red letter. It's still Jesus speaking all this time. And this is uh, a picture of the union between Christ and his church. As he begins to speak, he says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. <laughs> and boy, you talk about a purging. When he purges us, uh, when there's something that he removes from our lives, uh, sometimes we may fight against it, but he always knows what he is doing is the best. But then when we read on and farther down, we come across these words. He says in verse 11, These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. That is a big commandment, folks. But notice he's now he's speaking this, and we know that we can't 
have this kind of love without Christ being in our heart. But he says, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Now we knew, uh, we know, and and we knew if in reading this that. Christ is going to lay his life down for his disciples. They didn't know that at the time. And although he may have mentioned that at times, they didn't fully grasp it. It was evident because they didn't understand what was happening when it happened. But he laid his life down and he said, this is the love that I want you to have one for another. And people say it's impossible, but folks, I, I don't believe that it is. I believe when we get a full scope picture of what he has done for us, we will love people. We won't always like the things they do. But if God, the Spirit of God, the Son of God live in us, he gives us an ability to look at people, not like what they do, but understand they have a soul and they will spend eternity somewhere and to have the kind of love that we would lay down our lives. We thank those men and women, those military men and women, and those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. We remember them today. Uh, this, um, this song is one that I've done for a couple of years in church um, uh, in Myrtle Beach when we lived there in Little River, South Carolina. I did it there for uh, Memorial Day. I think I did it last year at our church here, but we'll give it a shot this year here. I saw her from a distance as she walked up to the wall. In her hand she held some flowers as her tears began to fall. She took out pen and paper as to trace her memory. She looked up to heaven, and the words she said were these. She said, Lord, my boy was special, and he meant so much to me. And oh, I'd love to see him Just one more time, you see All I have are the memories And the moments to recall Oh Lord, could you tell him He's more than a name on a wall said he really missed the family and being home on Christmas Day. And he died for God and country in a place so far away. I remember just a little boy Playing war since he was three. But Lord, I know this time he's not coming home to me. She said, Lord, my boy was special and he meant so much to me. And oh, i love to see him Just one more time, you see All I have are the memories And the moments to recall So Lord, could you tell him He's more than a name on a Oh Lord, could you tell him 
come He's more than a name on a wall Greater love hath no man than this That a man would lay down his life for his friends We do thank those uh, and honor them today and especially uh, we thank God for sending his son and for Christ dying on the cross for us Lord we thank you for the day you've given us God I pray that you would bless those that watch this today I pray that you would encourage them give them help and give them strength today in Jesus name amen all right folks have a happy rest of Memorial Day and see you Tuesday